and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be bringing you 10 of the weirdest and funniest names in world football. So hang around if you want to find out what those 10 football teams are and how they got their names. In at number one we've got Young Boys of Bern. Now they're one of Switzerland's oldest clubs and certainly the most weirdly named. Although you do have to take Grasshoppers of Zurich into account who could be battling them for the first place in weirdly named Swiss teams. Now, Young Boys were founded in 1897 after some university students decided to put on a game of football against the Basel Old Boys Association. Well, rather than old boys, they decided to call themselves Young Boys. And then, just to compound the silliness, they opted to play in the Wankdorf Stadium. I think enough has been said about those. Now, in at number two, we've got Seaman Padang. Amazingly, one of the top teams in Indonesia. And what a lovely name. They're actually named after the place they're from, which is called Padang. And their sponsor, of course, is Seaman, the country's largest cement producer. I must say that Seaman Padang also sounds like the weirdest kind of Indonesian takeaway that you could ever possibly order. And in at number three, we've got Deportivo Wanka. Now, this team is based in Huancayo in the Peruvian Andes. And it's got the amazingly popular fan chant of Andes, where we can see them, you wankers. They're named in honour of the indigenous wanker people that used to live in the area. They were in the Peruvian First Division until 2004. And in that season, the wankers who were struggling moved their home to a stadium, Sierra del Pasco, which is amazingly 13,973 feet above sea level. In a sort of maxi version of the old Luton plastic pitch, it was rather hoped that the opposing teams would suffer from altitude sickness and a lack of oxygen. Didn't work. The wankers were relegated anyway. In at number four, we've got the Botswana Meat Commission. They play in the wonderful league, which also includes teams by the name of Goldenbush and Naughty Boys. We know that Botswana is well known for beef exports, but we don't care about that. We know that it's also a world leader in comedy football team names. Thank you, Botswana Meat Commission, who are also, oddly, a progressive rock group. In at number five, we've got Fot Bolaget Fart. Based in Vang, which is in the north of Norway, the men's farters have been going up and down between the country's third and fourth division for years, although the female farters seem to remain in the top division. The name in Norwegian obviously means football team speed. In 2014, a guy called Erling Andreasen died, he was 91 and he left his entire estate to the farts. That's worth around half a million British pounds. That's not to be sniffed at now, is it? Next, we've got the Insurance Management Bears. The most exciting club in the Bahamas, the Insurance Management Bears, were set up by the Bahamas FA president, Anton Seeley, in 1996, following a grant from the company where he went. The Bears, have won, or the Bears then went on to win the national championship six times out of the seven that it was contested, and also subject of the legendary sports movie, The Bad News Bears. In at number seven, we've got the strongest. Top name here, and a top club. And they've got a load of nicknames as well, including Tigre, El Derriador de Campianos, Guadalajara Negro, and El Decano. Now, they play on the Paz in Bolivia. During Bolivia's 1932 to 35 war with Paraguay, the players and staff of the club made up a division of the army. And they did so well that the Batala de Canada Strongest was named after them. This makes them the only football club in the world to have a battle named after them, apart from Atletico Battle of the Bulge. Got Hearts of Oak. Now nah, they come from Ghana and play in Accra, and are actually the country's oldest still existing club. And if that club name weren't cool enough, they're also known as Phobia. I guess they're so good that they give their opponents a phobia every time they have to come to play them. Now, we've got the classically named Dynamo Bender at number 9. They play their football in the glamorous surroundings of Belarusian 2nd Division. And they represent the town of Bender. They have had several incantations in the bid to make their name as funny as possible. Up until 1958, they were Brewer of Bender. Bender. Then the following year, they tried Locomotive Bender. A year after that, they spent 13 years as Nistral Bender. And then another 13 years as Pishevik Bender. They've also been called Tigina Bender and Tigina Apple Bender. Before the club settled on the even more hilarious. Number 10 is 
Kalamazoo outrage. Now, it must have been that the founding fathers of United States soccer said in their constitution that all their clubs must consist of a silly place name followed by an outlandish name, as abstract as possible. Sadly though, none of these seem to last very long. Amongst those that have ceased to exist are Knoxville Impact, Milwaukee Rampage and the Michigan Madness. We've all got to bend the knee to the mighty Kalamazoo outrage, whose light did burn briefly, but very brightly, between the years 2007 to 2010. Well, thanks for joining me on this weird and wonderful journey through strange and funny football names. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please subscribe and leave a comment for me. Perhaps you've got some even weirder football names that you've heard of. You might want to leave them in the comments section. And uh, please give me some feedback on this video as well. Come back for more because every single day I'm going to be loading up several fresh videos, which hopefully you're going to enjoy. And if you've got any suggestions for me, leave them in the comments box as well. And uh, I'll do my best to try and make what you want. Thanks for watching, take care now and bye!